Hi, I'm Anne Wawedu. Here's your channel TV evening news recap for April the 29th, 2020. The Presidential of the Task Force on COVID-19 has announced guidelines for the gradual easing of lockdown. In a briefing today, PTF Chairman Boss Mustafa said banks and government offices will reopen while schools will remain closed. PTF also encouraged schools to support and adopt online learning, noting the curfew early announced by President Mohamed Buhari will take effect from May the 4th. The federal government has disbursed the sum of 43.41 billion naira as performance-based grants to 24 states under the World Bank Assisted State Fiscal Transparency, Accountability and Sustainability Program. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, made this known in a statement today. According to her, the 24 states which met the eligibility criteria are Abia, Adamawa, Bochi, Benue, Delta, Edo, Ekiti, Enugu, Gombe, Jigawa, Kaduna, Kano, Katsina, Kebi, Kogi, Kwara, Niger, Undo, Ogu, Oyo, Oshun, Sokoto, Taraba, and Yobe State. Meanwhile, the death toll from COVID-19 has increased to six in Borno State. This follows the announcement of three new deaths by the state response team. The Commissioner for Health, Dr. Saliu Kwayabura, disclosed this during the daily media briefing. According to him, the three deaths are all independent of each other and have no link with the index case in the state. On the international scene, German labs have been able to carry out almost 900,000 tests for the novel coronavirus within one week. Speaking to reporters in Berlin on Wednesday, the country's health minister said they plan to widen testing among health workers. Adding sports, Watford has announced the signing of French midfielder from Le Hervé despite the ongoing financial uncertainty surrounding Premier League clubs due to the coronavirus crisis. The Hornets agreed to a deal for players to defer wages last week in light of the economic harm caused by the pandemic. And that's the news recap. Join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Anne Mawadu. Thanks for watching.